What's going on guys? Welcome to the feel good routine. This class is perfect if you feel a little bit tired and you want to use the power of movement to open up your body, lubricate your joint and get back to feel amazing. We're going to start with the feet hips width apart, finding an upright posture, the hands are going to be down by your sides and as you take a big breath in, you're gonna reach with your arms up, stretching the body upwards. Now, if your mobility allows it, try to maybe go for a little bit of a back bend, bringing your hands back, and then exhale, relax your arms in front of you, tuck the chin to the chest, and very slowly work your way down, one bend at a time. I want you to bend the knees and go down to the floor. Relax the head. Once you get down to the floor, try to move side to side. Try to really open up your body. Keep the knees bent. Keep your hands or your fingertips on the ground. And then bring your hands in the middle, bend the knees a little bit more. And on the exhale, roll yourself up. First the lower back, then the middle back, then the upper back. Perfect. We just do two more of these. So take a big breath in. Stretch the body up. If your mobility allows, then go for a nice back bend. Bring your hands in front. Slowly tuck the chin to the chest and one better at a time. We're gonna go down into our forward fold. Remember, I want you to keep your knees bent as much as necessary for you to touch the floor and move side to side, just for a few seconds. And then bring the hands back into the middle, take a breath in. As you breathe out, you bend the knees, you roll yourself up with control. Remember, you go first with the lower back, then with the middle back, then with the upper back. We just do one more, okay? Big breath in, stretch your body upwards. Remember to go for a little back bend if your spine allows you to go for it. And then breathe out, hands move in front, tuck the chin to the chest, Slowly, one better by the time, we're gonna go down into the forward fold. Keep your knees bent. Move from one side to the other, nice and slow. Bring your hands back to the center, bend the knees, on the exhale, roll yourself up. One better by the time. Okay, shoulders, and finally, your head. Perfect. We're gonna go same position, feet with, with apart, but we're gonna work on our sides. So the right arm is gonna go up in the air. You can keep your elbow bent on this one, nice and soft, and you're going to reach down on one side, really stretching the side. Feel the stretch, then you're gonna bring your arm back to center, you're gonna drop it down, you lift the other, and you go over to the other side. So side bend from one side and to the other. Feel that stretch in the side body, and then relax your arm. Just one more, guys. Lift, side bend, side bend, side bend, and back to center. One more on the other side, and come back to center. Perfect, we're gonna combine this side bend to the forward fold we just did in the previous exercise. So you bring your arm up, you're gonna side bend to one side. Once you feel the stretch, the chest is gonna cave in and you're gonna flex your spine forward. You're gonna join with the other arm. The arm drops and you side bend to the other side in a nice and smooth circular motion. Come back to center, relax the arm down and go on the other side. Lift the arm, side bend. Flex your spine forward, tuck the chin to the chest. Really get the stretch in your upper back. Bring it over to the other side, come back to center, and relax. We go for two more on each side. Right arm up, side bend, get a nice stretch, flex forward, join with the other arm, bring everything to the other side, and relax. The arm you just dropped, you lift it back up again. We go into a side bend, we flex forward, Join the other arm, bring it to the other side, and release. Just one more to go. Lift 
reach the arm. Side bend and flex forward more. Push the back of your spine away from you. The chest caves in, all the way to the other side. And back to center. And let's finish off with the last one. Side bend deeper, deeper, deeper. Forward, join, all the way around, back into the center and release. Amazing guys, so now we are going to twist our spines. So widen the legs, bend the knees, just as if we were doing a golf swing, like that. So you have to swivel, to swivel on the opposite foot from the side that you're twisting. Okay, so arms up, you're gonna rotate, swivel with the leg and reach away. And reach away, reach away. Reach away. Do a few more. Reach away. Twist. Twist. And one more. Reach and relax. Now, instead of only rotating our body now, we're gonna combine the rotation into a slight back bend, just like we did at the very beginning of the class. So, arms up. So, golf swing. So, swivel. Push that hip forward so you open up the hip. Once you twist, you're gonna bring your arms overhead and you go for a nice back bend. Bring your hands back in the middle, go to the other side. Swivel and back bend. And again, swivel, back bend, swivel, back bend. Last one, guys. Swivel all the way around. And reach up and back bend. And swivel, back bend, and release. Perfect, let's get down to the floor now. Okay, from this seated position, you're gonna open up your legs and you need to make sure that you have 90 degree angle on both knees. The hands are gonna be behind you and you're just gonna open up your chest, just like that. And then from here, Push the knees towards the floor and then with your right leg you're gonna fold yourself in. So put the knee on the ground and make sure you have 90 degree on the front knee, 90 degree at the back knee. Keep your chest nice and tall. The hand that is gonna support you moves a little bit further away. Now put the hand in between the front foot and the back knee and you're gonna begin to reach away so that you feel a stretch in your hip abduction, hip internal rotation of the back leg. And then you're gonna start drawing a circle all the way around that front leg, reaching away. You're gonna lift the arm, you're gonna rotate your spine as much as possible and reach for that wall behind you. Then you're gonna bring your arm all the way overhead and you complete the biggest circle you possibly can, touching the floor as far away as possible behind you. Here, really stretching hip internal rotation on the back leg. Then bring your arm back to the starting position and we do four more. Reach all the way around the front leg, lift the arm, twist your spine, reach behind you, all the way around, biggest circle possible, touch and lift the chest, start again. Number three, reach all the way around, lift the arm, touch that wall behind you, all the way around. Three, we have two more to do. Reach all the way around that front leg, stretch, twist, rotate through, and four. Just one more, guys. Reach all the way around the front leg, lift the arm, reach for that wall behind you, rotate through, and finish. Perfect. We're gonna repeat the same exact thing over to the other side. So start in 90-90 in the middle, fold the left leg forward, adjust your position so you have 90 degree on both legs. The hand that is supporting you moves away a little bit. Start with the hand in between the foot and the knee, reach forward, begin circling around the front leg, reach for that wall behind you, and all the way around. Lift the chest when you touch the floor behind you. Lift and begin again. Number two. Reach all the way around. Twist and 
touch. And number three, reach all the way around and three, two more. Reach all the way around. Pass that wall behind you, reach for it. And all the way around. Perfect, just one more guys. Reach and circle, circle, circle. All the way around, all the way around. And tap the floor behind you and release. Amazing work. Okay, so now that you have completed these circles, we're gonna try and do 90-90 swaps. This exercise is beautiful to open up your hips. You can start doing the first reps with your hands behind you. So you're gonna fold one leg in and you're gonna stretch your body over the front leg. Then you're gonna slowly put that hand behind you and assist. So lift the back leg, pass through and stretch the body forward, always keeping the back straight and you move from one side to the other. You just do maybe two more on each side. And bend. And now last one on each side. So let's begin with the left. And forward. Bring yourself back. Let's go over to the right. Lift the chest. Hinge. Get a nice stretch. Come back to center. And then you can also do this without the hand supporting you at the back. So you're gonna lock one hand on top of the other, just like that, and then fold that right leg in, twist your chest over towards the front knee, hinge forward to get a good stretch, bring yourself back to center, lock your hands, again, open the back leg, come in the middle, and go over to the other side. Fold, lift your chest, hinge, come back. If this is too intense, Feel free to do it with your hands assisting you, no problem at all. Otherwise, try to challenge yourself and try to go with no hands. Coming up, open, and over to the right leg. We come back to center. Perfect, guys. The hips are nice and open. And we're just gonna finish with the most functional movement we can possibly do which is the squat. Okay, for the squat, we're gonna have our legs slightly turned out. The feet are gonna be exactly the same width of your hips. The hands are gonna be in front, the shoulders are relaxed, and we begin shooting our bum back and bending at the knees. So the knees go forward, the bum goes back. Push those knees out, descend in a nice deep squat, and then slowly bring yourself up with control. Just do 10 slow and controlled repetition. No need to rush, really control the way down and all the way up. Lift with your glutes muscles. Don't let the shoulders shrug up, keep them nice and down. And all the way up, three. Breathe in to go down, breathe out to go up, four. Five, halfway there. Stretch, push those knees out. Six. Control, control, control. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one guys. And 10. Now, from this squatting position, the last movement we're gonna do is gonna be a squat combined with a norm circle. So you're gonna bend the knees and you lift the hands behind you, squat down basically, and then you're gonna swing the hands in front and you're gonna cross your arms as you stand up from that squat. Now, arch back, lift your arms, stretch out, stretch out your posture and reach with your hands, completing a big circle. Perfect. Thank you for joining me in today's class. I'm sure your body and you will feel much better than before. 
If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.